In the previous videos, we have discussed about the applications of non-pre-stress reinforcement bar in pre-stressed concrete members. These reinforcement bars are the typical steel bars being used in reinforced concrete structures. This kind of reinforcement bar are known as the high strength steel bar, having the specified yield strength of 410, 460, and 500 Newton per mm square, depending on their grades. The non pre stressed reinforcement bar are normally not being pre stressed in the pre stressed member. They are merely embedded in the pre stressed concrete member which act as the supplementary material to compensate the limitations of the pre-stress tendons. This table shows the conditions where the non-pre-stress reinforcement bar are being applied in pre-stress concrete member. First, when you design the pre-stress member as a partial pre-stressing member, the non pre stress reinforcement bar is required in order to control the cracks at the surface state. Its function is to control the further propagations which can deteriorate the entire element. Next, it is also required when the tendon itself alone is unable to generate sufficient resistance of moment at the ultimate limit state to resist the moment load adding on the member. In this case, the non pre stress reinforcement bar will help to increase the moment capacity of the member and it behaves like a typical reinforced concrete member. Superpositions the effects of the reinforcement given by this bar and also the tendon of pre-stressing, the moment capacity of the sections can be increased. Also, the non-pre-stress reinforcement bar are required for other serviceability requirements. The purpose is used to control the thermal shrinkage cracking or even to provide mechanisms to hold the stirrup and shellings. In the design and calculations for the pre-stressed concrete member, these are the conditions where the non-pre-stressed reinforcement is required. First, if you design the magnet diagram using the concept of full pre-stressing, Theoretically, you do not require any non pre stress reinforcement bar in the member. However, later when you calculate the ultimate limit state for the moment resistance, if the moment resistance is greater than the load, then no non pre stress reinforcement bar is required. However, if you found that the moment resistance is less than the moment load, you will need the non pre stress reinforcement bar in order to increase the moment capacity of the section. On the other hand, if you design the magnet diagram based on the partial pre stressing, regardless the outcome of the resistance, whether it is bigger or smaller than the moment load, the non pre stress reinforcement bar will be required. This is why, even though the moment resistance in the example number 6, which is found greater than the moment load, you still need non pre stress reinforcement bar.